guys and welcome back. Today I'm talking you through how to do this ultra glam makeup look. Today's look is all about a dark smoky eye from Violet Voss and for lips I'm using a brand new moisture boost lipstick from Antipodes. Let's get started. First up I'm going to prime my skin and make sure it's ready for makeup application and today I have like the tiniest primer ever and this is a travel size of the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. I'm just going to apply that all over my skin to prep my base ready for foundation. My lips are feeling a little bit dry today so I'm just going to pop on some lip conditioner to prime them ready for when we apply our lipstick later on. Today I'm using the Antipodes Kiwi Seed Lip Oil Conditioner and I'm just going to pop that straight on. Because we're going for a dark eye look today, I'm actually going to apply my eyeshadow first before my foundation. That way, if any product falls onto the tops of my cheeks, I can literally just take some micellar water and clean it up. I'm also going to be using my shadow shields today. These make applying eyeshadow so easy. You literally get given a guideline, and that way your eyeshadow always looks flawless. To make sure my lids are primed, I'm just going to use a small amount of the NARS Radiant creamy concealer. For my eyeshadow today I'm using the Violet Voss Violet Voss and the Violet Voss Pr <laughs> Violet Voss Ride or Die palette. Oh my god, that's so hard to say. I'm going to start with the shade Leslie to lay down a base on my lid. I'm going to take the shade Alice and I'm just going to roll that around in the crease. I'm going to take the shade Ashley. Next, Carly, which is a matte black shadow. Pat that onto the lid, being careful not to go above the crease. And then I'm taking my fluffy Zoeva brush and just very softly blending it out. Now that the majority of my eyeshadow is done, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. Today I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil and this is in the shade number two. For mascara today, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Eye Opening Mascara and this really does give your lashes that amazing false lash style look. Next I'm going to add some eyeliner and today I'm using the Clinique Pretty Easy Liner. For my lashes today I'm going for the Sugar Pill Saint Eyelashes. Now that the majority of my eye makeup is done I'm just going to peel off those shadow shields. Now that my eyes are all cleaned up, I'm going to move on to foundation. Today I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick and this is in shade 117. I'm just going to take that foundation straight onto the skin and then using a beauty blender, I'm going to bounce to blend it out. Next I'm going to move on to concealing the under eye area and I'm just going to go back to that NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in the shade Chantilly. I'm also going to take that concealer onto my forehead and the centre of my chin. For powder today, I'm using the Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder, which is one of my favourite powders. Next, I'm going to go back to that under eye area. I'm going to take the shade Alice to take that warm brown shade Ashley. And finally, the black shade Carly. Add a touch of that Bobbi Brown Eye Opening Mascara on the lower lashes. I'm going to go back to the base and add some definition. Today I'm using the Smashbox Contour Palette. Start by taking the middle shade here. And for my blush today I'm using the Clinique Colourpop Melon Pop Blush. To highlight and give some glow to my skin today, I'm using the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero palette. I'm going to take the shade Forever Young and just apply that along the highest points of my face. I'm also going to take that onto the tip of my nose into the inner corners of my eyes. And finally, to finish up the whole look, I'm using the Antipodes Moisture Boost Lipstick and this is in the shade Dusky Sand Pink. You've probably heard me talking about Antipodes skincare before and this is one of the brand new moisture boosting lipsticks from them. They're packed full of healthy plant oils so they definitely help keep your lips looking and feeling good. 
And this is the finished look, my sultry glam makeup. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any suggestions for future looks, then please do let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.